welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the SIM update 15, the Airbus A320 Neo by Enables is available in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is kind of an enhanced version of the default Airbus A320 Neo, which comes with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. As it is an enhanced version, that's why there are some features which were not previously available, and now they are available. So uh, for the beginners who are actually new to the flight simulation or have some little information about the flight simulation, they're having some problems. One of uh, the things that I just read on the social media was the difficulty uh, while taxing because uh, they were just unable to turn the plane left and right during the taxi. So I just thought of making this short video uh, for the beginners so that uh, um, um, it's easy for them to taxi and um, to understand why this issue is happening. So if you look around in the plane, you will see this electronic flight bag. And on this electronic flight bag, you will see this setting, rudder control terror. So what it is, actually there are th two different controls in the plane. Rudder actually controls uh, the rudder at the tail. So this is the rudder. And if I move my controller, you will see the rudder is moving. The main function of the rudder is to keep uh, the plane straight in the air, not on the runway or on the taxiway. So when, once the plane is flying and if there is a crosswind from the left or from the right side, this rudder actually moves and keeps the plane straight. Now, in all the flight simulators, even if you are flying in uh, X-Plane 11 or 12, this rudder uh, control on your controller is actually also connected to the front wheel. As you can see, I'm moving the rudder, the wheel is also moving. But in real life, this wheel is not connected to the rudder. It's connected to this thing called as tiller. So as you can see, if I move it towards right, it goes right. And if I move it towards left, it goes left. Uh, so in real life, you, you, well, once you move it back, you go left. And then if you move it here, you go right. So that's how it is. So if I change this setting, then the tiller will no longer move. If I just go back, you will see the rudder is moving, but there is very little movement in the front wheel, but you will have difficulty in taxing. So that's why if uh, during the taxi you are having issues and your plane is not turning left or right, just simply come over here and uh, select this option, rudder controls tiller and auto tiller disconnect, just keep it at this position, yes. And then once you will taxi, you will have no issues and the plane will turn left and right on the taxiway. So it was a very simple solution. Actually, I was also very new to the flight simulation like few years back. And um, I think I first discovered this issue in the Phoenix simulations Airbus A320. And I was really confused because when I was trying to taxi, it was not turning left or right. So now it's also available in the default plane of the Microsoft Flight Simulator Airbus A320 Neo uh, with this enabled edition, which is also known as the version 2. So that's why you just have to make this change. With this, I would just like to end my video. Thank you very much for staying with me. If you've got any question, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.